This video is brought to you by G Fuel. Use promo code King to get 10% off your next order. Welcome everyone to another video. And in this video, we are gonna be covering some pretty interesting battles using a Surviper Double Dark. Uh, obviously, we were all familiar with Needle Queen, uh, Double Dark, Surviper, Double Dark with uh, two pretty spicy dark Pokemon in the back. So let's go ahead and get started. Or at least one of them was wireless, which I guess is not so spicy. And when it comes to Remix, uh, it's actually a very strong Pokemon. But Shift Tree is definitely spicy. Uh, this thing has a Poison Jab, uh, your favorite Poison Fang, of course. I'm uh, going to throw on TMP. Uh, with, actually, they actually denied, so that's actually pretty good. Actually able to get an extra move through. Um, this actually should be a pretty good matchup since uh, it does resist Bullet Seed. Uh, but Greedon is super tanky, so uh, we're going to see... Uh, whether or not okay ends up catching the move on to Zwilus. Um obviously you need to bait out in case they do have a charmer right so uh, and they actually have a uh, knockdown here uh, so it's actually pretty pretty interesting um I guess it's good that they see it here as opposed to um as opposed to on the shift tree so uh, these dragon bars are doing quite a bit of damage but so are these wing attacks uh could shield this and get to another body slam or or let it go um and then come back in with Survivor, probably farm it down. One shield and farm it down is what I'm guessing is going to happen here. But let's see. These uh, poison jabs are doing quite a bit of damage. They're actually able to make it to a move. Going to have to shield and look to farm down. Um, so likely a second flyer in the back. But let's see. Because um, they have to protect. Or oh, frost last. Uh, actually, they come into. Oh, okay. Nice play by them. Gonna catch a poison fang though and gonna switch to shift tree and actually did quite a bit of damage wow that did a lot more damage than i thought i was gonna do that was just a neutral poison fang and it took like half of trevenant's health that's actually that's actually pretty insane there um not what i was expecting but um also this trainer is part of uh yyds a very uh uh infamous and powerful uh, uh team um, so obviously not the greatest lead, not the worst either. Uh, they're both throwing neutral damage at each other, but and these dragon birds aren't doing quite a bit. But this poison fang is definitely going to drop the defense a pretty good amount. Able to catch the body slam onto their own Zwilus. So obviously always cognizant of a potential charmer or counter user in the back, and then or or grass type, right? So um, I'm going to shield this. Okay, this is an interesting call there. Um, this is a pretty tough team. Actually, you can go straight for the Dark Pulse. Uh, if they don't shield this, it'll be a lot of trouble for the bomb. So they actually do end up shielding. I think just going straight Body Slam would have been the play there, but this is okay too, I guess. Like, honestly, like, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess maybe there was more of a desperation situation. Um, so let's see. Obviously, they'll survive this. Um, gonna let it go. Gonna try to snarl down. Uh, this is pretty, gonna be a pretty interesting situation here. Uh, these powder stones are gonna do quite a bit of damage. Looks like they will survive the three snarls. Definitely gonna have to shield this. Uh, unless it's something weak to uh, dark or uh, unless it's a mud boy, I really don't see a viable way to win this, especially if they don't shield this. If they shield this, maybe. Okay, um, okay, if it's a mud boy um, or something really weak to dark, um, I don't know what it could be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is actually pretty interesting. Uh, these snarls actually did quite a bit of damage already, so this foul play should KO, and it does KO. Very nice. Big sweep by the shift tree. Uh, very nice play. And they're pretty interesting. Uh, back line there but it, okay the, the team was honestly kind of weird uh swilus obama snow kofa grigas um kofa grigas kind of makes sense to pair with uh Zwilus in remix uh okay so this is kind of where you want to see it um obviously better than seeing it against uh, the shift tree uh so we're gonna throw the poison fang uh so obviously they're trying to in the back they should be protecting against uh steel and ice so it wouldn't be surprised to see a fighter in the back which is what makes this a little bit complicated um so i wouldn't be surprised if they try to catch uh, uh a move onto the zwilus uh or or ko or instant swap basically um 
Okay, gonna instant swap into. Uh, okay, this is a obviously it's gonna be a magnet bomb. Um, kind of have to instant swap, right? You don't really don't have too much of a choice here. She doesn't do as much damage as I thought. It is obviously not a shadow. Um, as as the most obvious statement in the world, but uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, should be able to survive this. Might get Thundershock down. It's gonna be close here. Oh, actually, that. Oh, they must have undercharged the first one, cause uh, that that did way more than half. Okay, they obviously deceived the opponent there. Uh, gonna throw. Okay, uh, interesting. This opponent is tricky there. Uh, kind of left them. I thought. I swear the Magnum Bomb should have did more. So maybe they lagged or something on the. Move gonna sack uh, the survivor there. Uh, let's see whether or not this is gonna KO the survivor. Uh, it does. And we're gonna see a big farm down. And we're gonna see what's in the back. And it is your favorite balloon. Unfortunately, Shift Tree is about to pop this balloon. Send it back into the stratosphere. And uh, yeah, just take out all the hot air of it, right? Brought it back down to Earth. Um, insert whatever pun you want as you see fit all right very nice play though all right gonna have okay uh i think obviously you switch here might try to catch oh a little bit desync there but they're resynced okay they threw right away uh gonna let this go um probably gonna do four more than switch okay gonna throw here and then do three more than switch i think you kind of have to switch um one two three gonna catch very nice um obviously resisted and uh, we're gonna see what's gonna come in the back it actually ends up being a toxic row this is looking pretty rough here uh they will likely farm down and this is gonna be this is honestly one of the biggest core breakers uh, to the team uh honestly i think you have to like double sh you have to poison bang right away and you kind of have to like double shield and farm this down. I don't, I don't see another way to win this game. Um, I have to shield this. You have to throw the poison fang, um, uh, which they will maybe shield. Uh, I don't think you have too much presence. They actually got a counter through there. Um, okay, they actually fainted. Uh, okay, that was very weird. Oh, this is very good here. This is very, very good. Gonna throw the foul play. Uh, Telling this Hypno, please leave. Please leave. Uh, it's actually looking really good right now. Uh, it's probably going to shield this. It probably do one Snarl uh, before throwing. Doesn't want to throw the... Okay, yep, there you go. And this is absolutely perfect play there. Going to throw the Leaf Blade. And we're going to say bye to Politoed. Going to throw one extra Snarl just in case, even though they had move already. And uh, we're going to say... Bye bye, Hypno. And, uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> very, very nice play there. This, this Shadow Tree, honestly, pretty MVP so far. Uh, obviously, what it did really bad uh, versus Toxtro, catching that weather ball was super critical there. Um, yeah, and then that worked out really nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, obviously, this you definitely need to stay. Uh, probably gonna throw it seven. Gonna throw it. I don't love that play there because they actually snuck one in. Um, okay, so they're one over, right? Gonna shield this. Um, gonna try to deny and did get the deny that time, which is really nice. Kind of worked out even uh, with. Uh, okay. I'm gonna let this go. Um, let's see whether or not this is gonna KO. It does KO. I think you get energy on Shift Tree. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more valuable than its wireless. Uh, they actually come into Hypno. This is actually kind of crazy. And they come into. Um, okay, that's that's uh, pretty interesting there. Um, but this is looking really good though. I'm gonna throw another Leaf Blade. This is a Mud Bomb one, a Mud Shot one, I should say, which is a little bit worse against his wireless, but. Uh, still in a very good position right here. Um, obviously gonna let this go. Uh, probably gonna s build up to the foul play then switch. Is what I'm gonna, okay, gonna, gonna switch right away. That's fine too. Should be able to drag right down. And this is, this is, 
this is absolutely game over. There's absolutely no way this uh, Hypno can win. Gonna shield us. They actually do have Ice Punch. Uh, so they do have the appropriate punches to be able to take it out. But if this while if this Hypno calls it, uh, this is game over, right? So like, honestly, this Body Slam probably not gonna KO. Uh, but it looks like they denied the confusion or they threw in the middle of it and should be able to drag him right down before this Hypno. Oh man, Hypno is like, was really bad against the, the back line. So uh, very nice play, which is to be expected, right? Like when you lead a poison type and picks up a very nice 5-0 with some absolutely beautiful play. Um, and uh, we're going up against Shocker who has Ferrothorn. Okay, okay, gonna switch right to Zwilus. This is pretty interesting. Uh, this should just be Power Whip. Um, curious uh, why they're throwing the power up there. Um, maybe they just want some chip damage. Okay. Um, they must have thunder and must not have a good answer to this. That's what I'm speculating. Okay. Um, let this go again. Um, they throw another power up here. Pretty interesting. Three, four. This should be a CMP tie. Uh, but the Ferrothorn might decide to farm. Uh, we'll see. Ferrothorn... Okay, lets it go. Okay. I think you just let it go, right? It should just be another Power Whip. You're looking really good right now. Uh, they'll win the CMP tie to, with, uh, with the Shift Tree. Um, this is looking really good right now. Uh, and the Foul Play should KO. And um, honestly, are, are they double Psychic in the back? Is this it? Like... What, for whatever reason, oh, they have Pelipper, okay. Uh, gonna throw the Leaf Blade. Um, honestly, you just throw both Leaf Blades here. Uh, should be able to, okay, actually just switch. This is good too, this is good too, I like this play. Uh, obviously shield this. Um, they have a little bit more than the Weather Ball, but not too much more. Should be able to farm down. And uh, we're, we're seeing, oh my gosh, they had uh, Knocked Owl there uh, the whole time. Um, Pretty interesting decision by the opponent to not go, uh, not safe switch first off, right? Um, and um, then you just shield this and farm down, and as well, not go knocked out into uh, the shift tree because like foul plays and leap blades do the same damage, but obviously, uh, the knocked out resists the. Uh, leaf blade so you'd be forced to throw the foul play so it does uh it's uh, less energy efficient because it's 10 more energy for 70 base power so interesting play so it's obviously where you want to see it right this back line is obviously very weak to ice and actually switch out into lolan raichu uh gonna throw here and i guess you go to um you, either one's probably okay uh, we're gonna go into um wireless here and obviously doesn't shield anything uh, i guess two wild charges would probably no no um obviously gonna look this... i'm assuming they're gonna wild charge now or they have psychic right so it looks like they have psychic um or grass line or one of the two and then gonna throw the uh, body slam and we're gonna see if they're gonna try to farm down it looks like they probably will and they actually no shield. Oh, they actually don't. That's really, that's really good here. Obviously gonna need to wait the clock out. Uh, they're gonna be stuck for a little bit though. Okay, no, okay. Um, oh man, and here comes an executor. Uh, very interesting. Um, very interesting Pokemon in the back. Uh, this is honestly a pretty crazy team. Um, and these Snarls are absolutely shunken. Uh, Shadow Bomb of Snow and the Snarl is easily gonna be able to take out the Obama Snow. Uh, really, really spicy team uh, by the opponent and uh, very nice play. Kind of makes me want to run a Surviper um, in, a, in a very, very nice. It needs to be doing pretty well. The Shadow Shift Tree is actually performing fantastic. Okay. Um, Okay, they actually switch out themselves. So this is actually really good here. Uh, honestly, the back line absolutely destroys Shiftry. So uh, you would, you know, destroy Trevenant. So you'd rather, oh, actually interesting here. Um, um, gonna let this go. Okay, I guess just in case they have a counter to dark, which they almost certainly will. So 
and we see that counter um, in the form of a skunk tank. Um, okay, he gets another one here. Okay, they actually end up throwing. Uh, honestly, either is okay. I'm just kind of worried about the switch here. Um, but they're not going to switch. Um, so they're one right now. And they're going to be at two coming out of this. Okay, they're probably two. A little bit of lag there. Three, four, five, six. So they have the crunch. Um, mm, okay. Not 100% sure of this play, but you can uh, farm down. Okay. Mm, I, okay, so I would pref much prefer the farm down here because I think the farm down would grab a shield versus this Trevenant. And honestly, the Shadow Ball uh, almost KOs here, right? So I don't think they're at. I think they actually threw a Seed Bomb here, which is very confusing. Um, Seed Bomb is like base 55 power, and the Shadow Ball is base 100 there. So uh, they're going to bait here. Uh, probably just gonna throw the leaf blade um, otherwise like they would just get to a seed bomb so that, that was honestly very confusing that they threw the seed bomb um, they really can't undercharge because one more snarl uh, would KO so um, honestly for me slight misplays on on both sides uh, the shadow ball they probably would have been able to shadow claw down afterwards so um, I'm guessing Trevenant wins the uh, zero to one um, or the one to zero, I should say. Uh, obviously, very bad lead here. This is uh, very tough for the team to deal with, uh, but we'll see how they want to play this. Okay, gonna throw the body slam. Mm, okay. Um, obviously, they want to try CMP tied to the EQ, which they were able to. This EQ honestly would do so much damage if they threw it. They end up baiting. Uh, they actually come into Drapion. Gonna throw the body slam. Uh, this Drapion, uh, we'll see if it has Sludge Bomb. Um, okay, gonna no shield. They actually had him throwing the Crunch, which is uh, obviously very fortunate here. And we're gonna see, they probably come back into Diggersby. They do. Okay, gonna throw the Body Slam. Uh, this Diggersby will likely throw the Fire Punch and try to mudshot Shot down. Uh, it's almost in fire punch range, so hey, yeah, you gotta let this go. It's for sure a fire punch. Uh, there's just absolutely no reason for them to EQ. Uh, it doesn't go, it actually doesn't KO, okay. Uh, gonna let this fire punch come through. This actually an interesting decision. Um, gonna try to deny and does get the deny. Um, they actually end up shielding. Uh, obviously for sure has to shield this. Probably can throw like one more snarl and for sure. Oh, they end up catching into Trevenant, but this is fine though. Um, honestly, the next Leap Blade pretty much KOs uh, the Trevenant. Trevenant obviously survives as we've seen last time. Oh, actually no, they actually don't end up surviving and they need to EQ here um, in order to KO this uh, Surviper. But then you can uh, you can uh, basically drag Breath down, yeah, can be or throw the body slam. Either one's okay. They actually elect to uh, drag and Breath down, knowing that they for sure could could at that at that health range. So uh, very nice play. Some really uh, complicated matches, uh, but uh, this trainer is uh, doing quite well here. Okay, Bombastone, obviously where you want to see it. Uh, Interesting that they're staying. Uh, tells me that they are pretty weak to Surviper. Um, okay, so I do think you shield this because uh, if they have a fighter in the back or you need you need it, then uh, they actually come into Politoed. Okay, I don't love this play here. Um, okay, um, don't let this go. And then gonna Dragon Breath down. Okay, actually going to Shift Tree. Mm. See, uh, okay, they threw the Weather Ball, uh, which is fine. Uh, probably gonna do two more than throw. One, two. Okay, gonna go for the three. Mm. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, 
and then does have the move. The bomb stone is quite low. Um, I'm gonna throw the uh, leaf blade. They did deny the powder snow, so if they can survive and get to another one, that'd be amazing. Oh man, okay, I, I I could actually see a world where they switch his wireless here and drag it right down. Okay, they actually don't need to. And this uh, looks like a hex Marowak or fire spin Marowak. Okay, this is this is absolutely game over here. Um, very nice play. Uh, I think questionable th staying in and throwing the um, throwing the poison fang. Uh, but we're gonna go into the third and final set. Uh, we're gonna have okay. This is this is honestly probably the toughest lead for this team to deal with. I'm gonna go straight for the crunch. Um, I think you bait to be honest, but uh, they did get an extra move in, right? So that means they're gonna uh, they're gonna CMP tied to the next one, and defense did fall. Okay, I'm gonna throw the poison fang. In. Okay, uh, I I am. Not sure I like this play, but okay, they both switch into okay, this is interesting. Um good simul switch. Uh into his wireless was obviously the appropriate one. They are they should be at the weather uh the um not the weather ball. They should be at the avalanche. Um no defense fall, which is really good. Can definitely farm down. Um uh because uh, they did get an extra powder snow and they actually throw the aqua tail. Uh, gonna be able to farm down, which is really nice. And we're gonna see the. Honestly, I probably just shield this, and then hopefully they, they didn't throw the body slam. Okay, gonna throw the dark ball. It's gonna farm up a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure how much how comfortable I am with that farm, but let's see what's in the back. Gonna go. Oh, oh man, Polly Toad. Should have told you to stay home, Polly. And they actually survived the leaf blade there, which I actually find really impressive. Um, they stood there proud, knowing that they survived a leaf blade from a shadow shift tree. That was actually pretty impressive that I actually survived. Because um, that is a lot of damage. And we're going to see Surviper into Spinda. So this Spinda does have uh, Psycho Boost, uh, Psycho Kai, I should say, and Icy Wind. Um, gonna let it go okay uh they basically gonna debuff each other right in different fashions like obviously this is dropping the defense this one's dropping the attack so they're doing the exact same oh man it's actually pretty tanky here they actually get an extra one through so they I don't, i'm not entirely sure how they got to the move beforehand because it should be perfect amount of uh okay they must have stuck a what okay i'm pretty sure it was cmp but uh they actually let it go um obviously very debuffed here gonna switch right away and they have octillery <laughs> oh man okay this thing is gonna oh okay they catch on beedrill okay this is which is fine this is actually working this is actually pretty okay um they're gonna throw the x scissor uh okay this is a very complicated game here um because they, they do have uh they're gonna throw the body slam uh, they do have uh, two shields, so they should be drawing a shield here. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have the uh, Octazuka already, but I guess they're, they're gonna gunk shot here. The Aurora Beam, what the freak? Okay, okay, okay. Um, Was not expecting the Aurora Beam. Um, this thing's super glassy though, so this, this point is probably probably KO it. Uh, okay. That was, uh, that was, I was honestly expecting the gunk shot there. Um, good composure uh, by the trainer, because uh, I'm sure they didn't have the same freak out re reaction that I, I did. So, um, we're gonna have a Surviper into uh, Golbat. Okay, interesting switch here. Oh, okay, this is actually super bad here. Um, if this Golbat, there's no way this is Golbat. Uh, 
this team, honestly, there's no way it's Golbat Double Charm, right? There's a, there's an extremely low probability that's the case. Obviously, gonna look to farm down, uh, and they're gonna be able to. And we're probably gonna see the Golbat. Oh, I actually have Empoleon on here. Mm, this is not very comfortable. I'm gonna switch out right away. I imagine after this, yeah. This is going to drop the defense, and here comes uh, the Golbat. Okay, I uh, did grab a shield though, so this is looking pretty okay. Oh man, that actually did a lot of damage. going to shield this and try to Snarl Down. I think the Snarl Down is like the only play here. But these wing attacks are going to do quite a bit of damage. Ooh, okay, going to throw here. I, I don't mind this throw. Um, can they survive uh, one? Okay, all right. Uh, okay, gonna have to switch after this. Um, and not gonna be able to get, to get a snarl through. Uh, obviously, we'll get to the crunch. This is non stab crunch, and the poison jabs are double resisted. Uh, okay. They're going for the farm down, and they are just barely able to make it to the farm down. Really, 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 really close game there. Um, well played by both trainers. There. That no shield on that goal bat was like, um, was uh, was was honestly the winning play there. Um, obviously, this is pretty bad. They actually elect not to switch. Um, uh, they elect not to throw the super hard. Um, Frost is obviously super bad for this team. Um, could a uh, double shield um, and then uh, bait twice. Um, okay, they're not even going up to it, but it's very difficult to count the dragon breast. So let's see whether or not they shield. Okay, and then I think you just. Uh... Oh, or we could let it go. We could let it go. Okay, or we're gonna shield here. I kind of like the idea of letting it go, but let's see if they come in. If they come in Mount Melee, you have to commit to the Dark Pulse. Uh, okay, they're going to be able to farm uh, quite a bit uh, versus this, uh, this Wireless. Uh, the Dragon Rats are obviously chunking as well. Um, obviously, come back, come into, or you could try to catch a superpower. Okay, they throw the Rock Slide. And they obviously just threw blind through the rock slide. And they're gonna reach another one. And then you just immediately swap here. You just instantly swap. Instant swap, yeah. And they come into Drift Blim. Oh man. Um, okay. But uh Drift Blim actually survived this last time. No, actually did not, okay. And then gonna be able to snarl down here and easily take out the Malmetal. Really amazing play there. Um, and able to go 3-2 on the last set. Uh, thank you very much uh, for sending me those battles. Those are fantastic battles. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. If you liked the video, don't like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.